Where have we met? I believe there's been a misunderstanding, my lord. Get out, before I call my guards. And what might I convey? Nothing. Baron, sir, you gave your word. For the last time, out! Tend to this matter. Baron Raven and Kimbolt, I presume. Does that witcher's code of yours exempt you from court etiquette? Does it grant you the right to speak to the Highborn without being asked to do so? I guess I don't need to introduce myself. Oh no. I know who you are. Geralt of Rivia. Fortest's other favorite hound alongside Roach. Not purebred. They say you bring trouble wherever you appear. They're gonna re-establish the Conclave. Didn't expect so many Temerians to show up for the ceremony. We're not here for some magic pomp and circumstance. This is about celebrating a new order in the Northern Kingdoms. Is that so? Your kind doesn't understand this yet, but your life is about to change. Forever. My kind. Wanderers and scoundrels. People, and I use the term loosely, without loyalty or country. People for whom coin is the law and everything's for sale. Who was that thug I passed in the doorway? He's of no concern to you. People like him sometimes do stupid things. Did I ask for your opinion on the matter? The convoy carrying Anais and Busi was ambushed. Why? I'd like to know that myself. I've seen your letter to Horst Lubbock, the one in which you ordered him to abandon the planned route. Nonsense! I sent no such letter. The letter bears your seal and signature, Baron. Where is it? That's immaterial just now. If that's the situation, I've said all I have to say. I wrote no such letter. Words come cheap, Baron. I'm finding it hard to believe you. I care little for what you believe. If this letter exists, we are dealing with a forgery. Whoever is behind this has crossed a Temerian noble, and will be duly punished. My scribe will test the letter and confirm what I claim. My claim? My scribe? I'd hardly call that impartial. Maybe I should just deliver the letter to Natalis. Any accusation will be quickly dismissed. Heed my words, Witcher. It would be unwise of you to jump to any conclusions. Speak with my scribe. There are objective means of examining the letter's authenticity. I promise to pay you well for learning the truth. Hmm. The truth does taste better when payment's involved. Stop looking at me! Lights, quench, shit. Drunker than a bar. Prince. Won't get anything out of him. Maybe there's something about testing letters in his notes. Calling me. S Alchemists! Not all that falls out to the ass is gold. Yet a cormorant old shit spells out his hole. Vapors to cleanse. A string of oh! According to the scribe's notes, if this is Kimbolt's letter, the paper it's written on was treated with an invisible dye. 
An activator should bring out the dye, turning the paper blue. Now for the activator's formula. Better try it on some drafts first. I need to make the substance that will bring out the dye and apply it to the letter. A little burnt lime. A bit of water. Everything's better with a dash of burnt water. Wait for it to dissolve. I need to add burnt lime to the flask, then quench it with water. Add bird guano to that, heat it, then capture the vapors and run them through cold water to obtain the final substance. All right, let's try this on Kimbold's letter. I need to make the substance that will bring out the dye and apply it to the letter. A little burnt lime. bit of water. Everything's better with a dash of burnt water. Wait for it to dissolve. It smells like piss, but it worked. The sheet's orange, not blue. The letter's fake. Kimbold had nothing to do with this. Undeniably an interesting personage. It's you! You were right, Baron. The letter's forged. Of course I was right. I would never seek to hurt Boosie. Bastard or not, he is still a child. Your payment, Witcher. I want you to look into another matter. What would it involve? Count Linus Maravel. You've heard the name? Young, capable, handsome. Yes. Yes, all that and more. And he's ambitious to a fault. Right after the Temerian delegation arrived in Loch Ween, his people began visiting the Nelfgaardian camp regularly. Are you suggesting Maravel's a traitor? We are all entitled to communicate with the Ambassador without chagrin and openly, as court and diplomatic protocols allow. Yet the Count's multiple messengers, the letters traveling to and fro, it reminds me more of a complicated courtship. You're curious to know the content of those letters. I want you to learn the Count's plans. The man would sell his mother to please the Emperor. Find out what Maravel's messenger is carrying. If treason is involved, you must alert John Natalis. You will be generously rewarded, I assure you. You need a Witcher to do this? Do not underestimate Count Maravel. He does not employ common scoundrels, and I don't intend to either. Hieronymus Lash. Sound familiar? A pretentious, invented name. Belongs to a bard or a mummer, I'd say. But you wouldn't need my help with either of those, so I'll venture a guess. Maravel entrusts his correspondence to a mage. I knew you were suited to this task. The magic barrier placed over the city mutes all forms of high magic, preventing Lash from contacting Schillard remotely. He nevertheless remains dangerous. During the times of the previous conclave, I believe he was caught practicing black magic. He faced execution, but that Laos Maravel saved him. How do I locate this messenger? Look for my man Aldrich by the fountain here in the camp. He'll point the mage out to you. All right, I'll look into it. My lord, we know where they are. What are your orders? Bloody wonderful day. Assemble your men and resolve this once and for all. Gather your gear. Slayer. We're off to hunt. Master Witcher! What do you want? My lord, the Right Honourable Count Maravel requests the pleasure of your company. He says it's urgent. Seems like everything is these days. Tell the Count I'll think about it.
It's you! So many crowned heads in one place. You must be pleased. Ha 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 ha! Geralt of Rivia, I am delighted to see you among the living and the free. Are you serious, Count? Such an injustice to lock you up without so much as a hearing. And then the beatings, the torture, it's barbaric, I tell you. Based on pure prejudice, the presumption of guilt. Actually, if I'd seen what they saw. Uh, but alas, such is my homeland, filled with fear and thus ruthless, cold as stone, dark and severe in aura and mindset. I suppose there's some truth to that. A response at once cautious and reasonable. Admirable qualities in and of themselves positively required in your profession. If you say so. What brings you to Loch Muin? Concern for my country, Witcher, and an express and somewhat surprising request from Constable Natalis. Surprising? How so? Surely you jest, Witcher. Truth be told, few could marshal loyal forces matching mine on such short order, a Baron Kimbolt accepted. Yet, though I very much held Foltest's trust, I cannot say that many of my Temerian peers feel the same way. Why do you suppose that is? They resent me. I share neither their customs nor their beliefs. What's so urgent, Count? Oh, etiquette is not your enemy, Witcher. It would not hurt you to embrace it at times. In any case, I could not help noticing you circulating in and out of Baron Kimbolt's quarters. Yet I wonder if you are fully aware of the kind of man you serve. What do you mean? He cuts a fine figure, doesn't he? The heavy cloak, the silver mane, the booming voice. Yet our worthy Baron is hardly the saint he makes himself out to be. A lot of that going around recently. I am in possession of certain information that might interest you. Mm -hmm. And you want to share it because... We come from different worlds, Witcher. On the surface, we are as unlike as wraiths and wyverns. Yet, no matter our preferences, culinary, political, erotic, ultimately we both are interested in and tirelessly seek one and the same thing. The truth. You can talk, Count. I'll grant you that. But I'm not convinced you can be trusted. Baron Kimbold also offered me the chance to learn a certain truth. I don't think I need to say who about. And you are certain that Kimbold can be trusted? So far, all the Baron's words have proved true. Well, then I merely ask that you verify mine. You are not the sole person to have repeatedly visited our kind-hearted Baron recently. Doesn't seem strange to me, given the time and the place. He has also had some more troublesome callers, blackmailers to be specific. Now, I'm not handing down any verdicts. Perhaps the Baron has some personal problems, in which case I would very much like to help him. Get to the point, Count. My people have learned where these blackmailers are encamped. I assume Baron Kimbolt has not been sitting on his hands and has also dispatched his huntsman to find them. A horrible man. I know who you mean. Ran into him in Kimbolt's quarters. Then you must also know that if you do not make haste, nothing will be left of our blackmailers, save some rotting corpses. I shall show you where they have their camp, and I merely ask that you learn what is at issue. Naturally, you can count on my gratitude, though we both know that is not the greatest reward. I can't promise you anything, Count, but I'll think about it. Farewell. What do you want? I saw you talking to Kimbolt. <laughs> I'm free to go where I please and talk to whoever I please. Couldn't agree more. Now you're here and you'll talk to me. 
I'm interested in the Baron. I've naught to say to you. Not good, because I need to know everything you know about him. Baron Kimbolt sends his regards. Oh, just what we needed. Leave us, Witcher. Since when does a Witcher take orders from a huntsman? Since that Witcher stopped hunting monsters and started poking his nose into others' affairs. Sometimes the stench is so strong you can't help but catch a whiff. Aye, well spoken. You've some common stinking thugs here, and I'm to teach them some humility. A ponds like you? Pucker up and kiss my arsy fucking tulip! These folk have nothing to say to you, understand? I'll be the judge of that. Lend us a hand, Witcher. You'll not regret it. I'll need to know everything about Kimbolt. God, this is shit! Enough of your jabbering! Kill them all! Take your time to life! Thanks, Witcher. We'd be corpses if not for you. Yeah, seems likely. Now don't make me regret helping you. You're welcome to all we know about Kimball. I'm all ears. We came here to collect our fee, me and me brothers, for a favor we did the Baron. What did you do for him? Spent four days in a forest, sitting on our asses. Baron Kimball wanted to pay you for that? Course not. We was to destroy some wagons in a caravan that was to pass through Millville. Problem is... Caravan never came round. I can see why you're having trouble collecting. Kimball had shy information. How is that our fault? That bugger lost us a right lot of time. And you know what they say, time is coin. What exactly were your orders? We was to watch the high road for a caravan carrying nobles. Two coloured wagons and a small escort. The wagons, they was ours. All inside was to perish. Any idea who was supposed to be in the wagons? Two high-born young'uns and their nannies. That's all the Baron told us. Willing to tell Natalis all this? I'm to fess up. They draw and quarter me. You didn't do anything. Took a job, that's it. They can't prove you actually wanted to complete it. If you refuse, Kimbolt wins. He'll squirm his way out of this, but it won't end there. The Baron's got gold enough to hunt you till he hunts you down. Not lightly. I'll see them tear stripes off his back with hot pincers. All right, I'll talk to Natalis. Whoa! Ah! Baron Kimball said you'd point Hieronymus Lash out to me. Perfect timing. Come with me. One day someone will get you in a dark alley. <clears throat> Where 
Empire's lash. Patience, mate. They should be here any minute. Yeah. I've done my bit. Up to you now. Got a tail. Stop him. Stop there, white one. What if I don't? Then I'll fucking help you! I'd like to see you try. Consider it done! For <laughs> Natalis! <laughs> <laughs> Evil eye! Ugh. Roach may trust you, but I'm not so sure. What do you want? Representatives of the Council of Regents. Did any come with you? Only Baron Kimbolt and Count Marival. The other five remain in Vizima. It seems that save Baron Orval, most spend their time trying to devise a way to undermine Anais's claim to the throne. Kimbolt and Marival. What's their stance? They've taken opposing positions, as one might expect. 
The Baron believes Anais's origin, if you will, stands in the way of her taking the throne. Though it's common knowledge that he would simply prefer to seat himself on it. Whereas Maravel has said that Foltest's children have his full support. He stated this in Vizima before the entire council. One thing is certain, words come cheap. Those two may change their minds in a flash if Anais is found and recovered. Impressive summit, but not all the players have their representatives here. The most important do. The mages thought about inviting everyone, but time is short. What about Edern? It's a huge country. Torn by conflict and rebellion with no clear ruler. They're not to be taken seriously at this point. Sounds like the Kedweni point of view. The Adernians see it differently, I'm sure. There's a traitor among the Temerians. Careful, Witcher. You'd better have evidence if you plan to accuse someone of treason. Busi and Anais. Yes? Count Maravel outright betrayed Temeria, while Baron Kimbold planned to murder Foltest's children. Those are serious charges. Kimbold hired some thugs to do the wet work for him. I found them, and one's ready to testify. They never got the job done because the convoy carrying the children changed course, only to fall into an ambush set by Maravel. The Count wanted to hand Anais and Busi over to the Nilfgaardians. You'll find the proof in this letter. Busi's death was an accident. Dark clouds gather over Temeria. I cannot arrest them both. Their contingents are among the largest in Loch Muin, and I cannot risk mutiny by their men. Thank you, Witcher. You did well to bring this matter to my attention. I only hope Baron Kimbolt will agree to stand with me. So you see, Baron, I have learned all. And it makes me sick to think about it. However, you may count yourself fortunate, for we've a greater problem to deal with. You shall provide me with your full support as we arrest Count Maravel. This plea sounds more like a threat to me, Constable. It is no plea. It is an order. And yes, a threat. Refuse, and the Council of Regents shall receive ample evidence of your crime. Of your wish to slay the children for whom our King gave his life. What are your terms, Natalis? Upon returning to Vizima, I shall destroy the evidence against you. Prior to that, however, I expect your unconditional support. How can I be certain you will do as you pledge? My words still mean something, unlike yours, you lying, rotting son of a whore. So be it. But heed this, constable. Do not try to cross me.